Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Triple N Media. I am Dr. Nick Nickum from Houston, Texas. I am planning to visit Washington DC for sightseeing. So let me see how well the chat GPT can help me to plan my vacation. Okay, let's start off with Hey, what are the places to visit in Washington DC? All right, that's my first question. See what it says. Okay, city is full of history and cultural significance. Okay, that sounds good. National Mall, so that's one place I can visit. Lincoln Memorial, Washington Monument, World War II Memorial, Lincoln Memorial, Washington Monument, 555 feet tall. Okay, that sounds good. United States Capitol, definitely I want to visit the Capitol, especially with all these hearings going on <laughs> about Twitter and other accounts. Uh, I mean, it's, it will be plus water crisis, all these things that we have. Okay, what else can we, States Capitol, we talked about national museums. There are, Smithsonian has got so many different museums, natural gallery, National Museum of uh, Natural History, Smithsonian National Air and Space Museum, White House, Huh. That's a pretty long list. It looks like I'm going to need two weeks vacation to visit all these places. But first of all, I'm interested in, you know, what do I need to do to visit the White House? Don't worry about the capital or spelling for that matter. What do I need to do to visit the White House? Let's see what it says. Come on. What do I need to do? It's very important because, you know, you just can't visit Washington and say, hey, I want to see the White House. Let's see what the chat GPT is going to come up with. It's thinking. It's thinking. You know, more than 100, 100 million people, maybe 150 million people by this time, have signed on to this chat GPT, which is free for the public at this time, and see what this one says. White House in Washington, D.C. can be a memorable experience. Well, certainly hope so. Request a tour. Six months in advance? Are you kidding me? I'm planning to visit next month. Provide personal information, social security, date of birth. How am I going to provide all these things? I, we're not supposed to be transmitting this through the email. Let's see what they say. Screen. Oh, I, I forgot, I didn't read this one. Must be, request must be submitted through a member of Congress. So that means I have to contact a congressman or a senator from my state, which is Texas, and uh, have them make the arrangements and obviously so I, get, I guess uh, all these people who are taking donations from me I need to talk to them so I can uh, convey the, my interest but uh, what one interesting thing I saw here is that they're going to do security check mm. that's why they, they need your age date of birth social security number and all kinds of stuff photo ID restrictions and all these things okay so I'm glad I saw this one you know this is going to be quite useful because I thought you can just go there, stand in line, get a ticket or a coupon or some recommendation from the House of Representative or Senator, but I had to go through this whole rigorous exercise. Okay, what about uh, national museums? I mean, obviously, the system must be pretty busy at this time because there's so many people. Okay, Washington, D.C. is home of many Smithsonian institutions, national museums. Uh, okay, it's already listed all these things. Okay, I think he's going to list it in again. Airspace Museum. Sounds good. Okay, so you said me the same thing. Uh, I want to know okay don't give me this 
what are the timings for the museums yeah let's find out what are the timings for the museums let's google it would have spit it out like 10 million options for me to choose from the hours of operations of Smithsonian in Washington DC can vary okay National Museum 10 a.m. to 5 30 p.m. that's a useful information okay that's pretty good so it's giving me the timings for each one of these muse museums let me find out uh, are there any fees to visit these places I guess I have to wait okay tell me do I have to pay any money to visit these places admission to Smithsonian museums in Washington DC are free oh free for visitors that's pretty good National Museum of Natural Science uh, then portrait gallery National Gallery of Art Man, I don't know where all these are located and how am I going to find out each one of these uh, things if it's Google I could just pull up the map and see okay what I'm going to do is are there any guided tours to these places are there any guided tours to these places let's see what it says if there is then I would rather take that one than having to walk from building to building to building as I said it may take me two weeks to just go through all these museums and uh, all these uh, interesting places and I have to get a pass to visit the White House and it may take several months hmm yes many smithsonian museums in washington dc offer guided tours to enhance your visit national museum guided tours are available led by trained well i'm not talking about guided tours in in a museum i'm talking about like a day tours <laughs> let me have to i may have to rephrase the question here let me rephrase this one Are there any long are there any day long bus tours to visit these places see what it says day long bus tours that's my next question I don't know why they waste this space here because uh, I could be using much bigger space on the screen I don't think you'll be able to read all the text here but I'm just giving you what the text says oh yes there are day-long bus tours uh, that uh, visit several Smithsonian museums in Washington DC these tours uh, typically include transportation from the museum as well as uh, admissions to the museums okay that's that's what perfectly I, I'm looking for okay a number of uh, tour operators offer day-long bus tours to the Smithsonian museums okay that's very good how much do these bus tours cost okay let's see what it says still thinking I didn't know earlier I tried the last couple of days and it was pretty fast maybe 10 o'clock is uh, where everybody's home and just uh, just clicking on their keyboards uh, and laptops whatever they got the cost of a day-long bus tour is 50 to 150 dollars hmm. so that's I got some idea now okay that sounds good now I want to see where I'm going to be staying so let me see
okay what are the good hotels around the city so let me find out and their prices for a room for a room or o m all right let's see what that says the, the good thing is you can combine questions so it will answer each one of those questions uh, in a serial manner see what it's going to come up with uh, in a sense th this is more sort of focused on what we are asking compared to google search where it is just dumps everything and first or second page is all in it, nothing but ads oh uh oh we got a server crash here sorry about that uh, you can retry or reconnect oh no no <laughs> i told you i think you know when it comes to a point let's see if we can copy this question and post it again unless i have to redo this or what let's see oh okay there it is coming up with five star hotels the cost of hotel rooms can vary all right i know that it varies but i want to know how much it varies 100 and oh roof red roof 80 dollars per night in washington dc you're kidding me motel six motel six is supposed to be six dollars <laughs> sixty dollars nice seventy dollars capsule hotel fifty dollars that's pretty good at least it's giving me some rough ballpark as to mid-range and luxury hotels ritz carlton 450 dollars per night what do they think i'm like the president of the united states St. Regis is $500 per night. I said, come on, man, you're a doctor. You can pay for it. Yeah, but, you know, I don't want to spend $500 a night. That means I have to charge more for my patients. That's not fair. Okay, what happened to my question stuff here? Okay, let's change this. Okay, what am I supposed to do here? okay and i got that one next thing i want to know is uh, i like indian food i'm an indian so i am going to find some indian food here so i don't feel like uh, i'm starving come on come on come on freezing here here is a vibrant and diverse uh, food scene okay there is giving me a list of Indian restaurants that's pretty good so it tells me what are the places I can visit I can dig deep into each museum and see what are the things I need to do uh, I'm going to ask it to name some companies that run bus tours so that I can kind of tailor make this list well that's pretty good it came up with a half a dozen Indian restaurants in and around Washington DC so name some companies that run bus tours Let's see what it says. You can just keep asking questions one after the other, digging deeper and deeper and deeper. And you may want to say, okay, where are the nightclubs? What are the steak? Where are the steak houses? What are the night entertainments? Or what are the places uh, where your kids can visit? Things like that. The model is currently overloaded with requests. I understand that. I can I, I can sense it I don't need to even look at this message let's see if it will come back uh, are you gonna come back or what we generate the response please include the request ID retry your request or contact us okay what I'm gonna do is uh, 
name some companies that run the bus too. Maybe he didn't like the question or something. Let's see. Only one message allowed. Okay, then you complete. Okay, I think it's, it's thinking. It is thinking. I have a couple of more important questions and uh, so I wanted to ask how well, I wanted to see how well it uh, handles uh, like flight plans and all this. Uh, I don't think you know it would be as uh, comprehensive as a browser or a search engine, either Google or Bing, because there you can actually to spit out uh, the flight names, timings, prices, everything in the first line or first few lines. So I think uh, regenerate the response, see what it can do. Reload the conversation. No. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to cut it here. At least you get the idea, you know, <laughs> I don't want you to go with the perception that this program is just overloaded all the time. No, it is not. Most of the time it, it will go very nicely because I have done other videos. I did an entire 35 minute video on medical applications of uh, chat GPT, Dell E, Dolly E and other artificial intelligence uh, programs. And that was like 30 minutes long where I asked a series of questions and everything just flew by without any hinges or hindrances like this one. But I think this is a great way for you to plan your vacation if you are interested. Try this and uh, let me know what you think. I mean, it has some advantages in terms of all these lists and things like that. Uh, and uh, that, that would be quite useful. So it, it gives you a different perspective. I think it, it, it sort of enhances your knowledge from a different angle, which was not there before because it is interactive. It is responding to what you're actually asking. I mean, that is the key thing. And it describes like a text report here. Thank you so much and I will see you in the next video.